Well, hello there, folks. I hope you're doing really well. Today is the 6th of January, a uh, very happy day today. And uh, we're going to look at, I'm going to do a series of videos, maybe once a week, uh, showcasing something that I'm using that I just absolutely love. And uh, today it is a Laura called Collage Style. It's a, a fantasy related uh, one, but I, I really like it. You can use it for anything, but I use it for fantasy stuff. Anyways, what we're going to start here, it's with Flux here, and it's a Flux Laura. So we're going to start with uh, going to templates here, and I'll, I'll just pull up like the basic. Oh, there we go. It's the basic uh, Schnell one, but I'm not going to use the Schnell. I'm going to do a couple things different here. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this note here. Oops. Get rid of the note. Get rid of save image. I'll do a preview image instead because I have no intention of saving this. I'm just demoing it to you. Okay. There we go. And then what we're going to do here is I'm going to pull the checkpoint out a little bit. I'll lift up the uh, positive clip there. And this is the standard K sampler stuff. Because I'm going to use regular, um, I'll just do like 25. I'm going to use regular uh, Flux instead of Snell. So I'm going to come over here and I'll do like an FP8 version of it because that's perfectly fine. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a LoRa. So we're going to do LoRa loader. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, stacked, there we go, stacked advanced right there. Okay, so we're gonna use one of these and this is gonna be what we're gonna get the uh, the lore from. So we're gonna click here, go to Flux and I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down to Fantasy because that's where I put mine, but you probably put it someplace else. And um, the one I'm looking for is Flux Collage Style. And if you know what a collage is, right, it's kind of like, uh, like paper, like stacked, you know what I mean? Like you glue it in like layers to make different things look different ways okay so then from here what we need we need to apply the laura so we're going to do apply laura stack uh, right there i'll just use the one by cr right there it's really simple okay and we're going to associate with that okay and then the other one that i want to get is something called tag selector and the tag selector what that's going to do is it's going to grab from civet ai you can pull this down to the tag selector right there and then we're going to do a show any or show text is perfectly fine as well. And we're going to do that. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull the, the trigger words because trigger words are one of those things that really, you know, kind of get annoying is when you, you have a whole bunch of Laura's you've downloaded a whole bunch of them and you don't remember all their trigger words and stuff. But what this is going to, this whole thing right here will do is it will um, do it all for you. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Laura Stack. I'm sitting there looking at this going, I, have, I forgot to connect all this. Hold on, let's connect this all first. All right, model goes to model, clip goes to clip, and then coming out of here, model goes to model, and clip is going to go to the positive prompt right up there. Okay. Then we're gonna need a Laura, oops, Laura List Stacker, right there, the second one down by Comfy Art Venture. Okay. And what this simply does is it allows us to be able to turn this all off without uh, disrupting anything. So the Laura stack is going to come from here and it just plugs in there. And this stays outside of, stays out of all of this. So if you take this and you make it into a group, and we'll call this Laura. And then you, I have the RG3 node. So if I, you go to manager and, oops, sorry, not manager. If you go to your little cog wheel down here and you go to RG3, uh, RG3 comfy settings, and you scroll down here, there's which toggles to show on the group headers. And I have by bypass is the only one. I've unchecked the other two. And then it says on hover or always. I guess I can leave it always. And then it will be always there. And if I click that, it, it disables that, you see. Having this on the outside and you just minimize it, this allows um, you to be able to bypass it without uh, there being errors saying, oh, we're, we're not getting data, right? So I'll pull this up. I'll pull this down a little bit here. Uh, apply Laura stack, it should go on the outside. And then this goes in here. I guess I can shrink that back up now. And then if I don't wanna use a Laura, I can just do that, okay? So with all of that, we should be able to use the standard prompt and bottle, you know, and then we'll go. So let's first of all, do it without. Okay, sorry, I paused the video so that it doesn't waste your time on this. All right, so now what we need is we need a, a I don't know how to say the word, con, concudate, I don't know. 
this thing right here. Um, there's one that says clean white space, which is the one by Was Node Suite Comfy UI. That's a decent one. You don't have to fill all of them in, so that's fine. So why do I need this? Well, because we have the show text right here. That's going to have the trigger words or a string right here. So you can bring that down and plug that into like A. And then what we'll do is we'll do just like a, a normal prompt. So we have the, our prompt here. And um, that's going to be, we're going to make it green just so that we have the color code correctly. And this all will go into here. So that's our prompt now. And we could change lighting or whatever put the subjects, but we could delete all this out of here and just leave us an empty box. But what we're, what we're going to do is we are going to have this prompt go in. I'm going to attach it right there to the corner. A little green dot appears right there and it makes it into a text input. Now I can minimize that. Let's do this instead. This goes to B and this goes there. That way, both the string and this will both go to the same spot. Now I can minimize that. We'll just move this over there or whatever. And if I, let's go ahead and do one more just so that we know it's all working. So now we have the image of what it looks like, just the normal, whatever. All right, now we're gonna turn this on. And what we're going to, what I also want to see is I want coming out of this uh, text, whatever I want to show text to, I want to, I don't know, bring it up here. Well, I'll just double click show, show text. Cause I'm curious, like what the entire prompt looks like. So we can see what it looks like. I'm sorry. Uh, go to there and this will just show us what, you know, what everything looks like. Okay. Uh, and we're going to leave this on now and we're going to go ahead and click it up. And what you can see here is it got the trigger and then it applied the trigger at the very beginning doing 1.4 seconds per iteration. It's not bad for flux, but it is FP8, not FP16 or 32. Uh, 3090 RTX, if, if you're wondering, has 24 gigabytes of VRAM. i5 13600K, 64 gigabytes of DDR5 memory running at some ridiculous speed. I don't know, I got good stuff. All right, so there you go. So what you see here is it added like more texture to everything. This has got like an extra level of uh, of texture. So if I and change this prompt and say something like uh, <clears throat> interior of a of a bedroom with an old eight bit computer on the desk, a quilt on the foot of the bed, a rug on the wood floor, and a space-related solar system hanging from the, not form, from the ceiling. Something like that. 1366 by 768 that makes it a 16 by 9 aspect ratio now the other thing we can do is we can hit a control c v for the k sampler and a va decode and we can connect all this up from the model way over here we can connect that up model here uh, use the same positive prompt coming from here and the same negative prompt coming from here, bypassing all of this stuff, and the same latent coming from here. All right, so anyways, there we go. And you know, it's not, it, seemingly not very high quality right now. I, I'm, let's see, maybe, um, how about just normal? And we'll do like 30. And also maybe I'm, I'm not happy with this one, so let's do maybe the 16 instead. And let's um, flush out the VRAM. And by doing this, we'll do this. We've got to make these both the same so we can, we can compare and contrast. Oh, the, oh yeah, we have to have an image here. So we're going to do image, preview image. And we'll just put this just like that. Be back when it's done. Okay, we are back and there we go. So you could kind of see immediately the the difference here, right? So here's the, um, you know, without any uh, lore being applied. 
and it looks like a normal bedroom. I mean, there's, I, I have no complaints about this at all. I got your little computer over here. You got a window, got the bed. It's got a quilt, but it's not doing exactly what I said. But it's fine. A little carpet on the floor, rug on the floor. Perfectly reasonable. Everything looks reasonable. Like, I don't have any problem with any of this. There's no back on this chair, but it doesn't have to have. I don't know. But over here, it just punches it up. See the stuff on the walls? Kind of, it's got texture to it, you know? Look outside. You see, it actually looks like it has, well, it's collage texture. Everything is collage texture. I mean, just look at the difference. Even the floor, the bed, it looks, I don't know, so much more detailed, so much more alive and lifelike. I don't know, I just like it. There's something about it that just, it puts it over the the edge there for me. And while this one's, you know, obviously realistic with like nature outside, that's just prompting. So you can come back over to the prompt and you can say, uh, let's move this over here. We'll make this a little bigger and we'll put, um, a uh, big window with, uh, let's say, <clears throat> a big city outside showing skyscrapers and clouds. Oh, and while um, the other one was processing, I went and found the the actual uh, Laura. Sorry, I'm having a hard time with my brain today. Anyways, Dark Fantasy Collage is what it's called. And I think it was his first picture that, I, that made me just kind of like, wow, that's so amazing. Because if you look at it, it's almost like a 3D effect. I just really like how this all looks. This one to me didn't really do anything for me. So for like, you could clearly see all the different textures are so much more detailed. And then we're back to like this style. Like HDR effect even. And look at this. That is so dang cool. It's got like a paper. And then you got these little leaf cutouts. They're all stacked up paper-like. And then you have these. It, it literally looks like somebody took several different layers of paper. Colored each one individually. And then just stacked them on top of each other. This is something my, my daughter would do. Because she's like really artsy on this. So shout out to, so who is this person? Jetus, Jetus. I'm going to follow him there. Now I'm signed in follow. I mean this. Yes. Yes. Yeah, love it. Love it, dude. I'm going to give, can I give it a thumbs up here? Where do I give it the thumbs up at? Thumbs up. There we go. I really love this style. Look at that. It just looks amazing to me. And it's images like the one with the car just then that sold me. I, I, look, I could see the texture of the leaves that are stacked up on this car. And it's something that if you do it without, you're not going to get. It's going to be more like a flat plane. But everything just kind of stacked or thick and with texture. The bricks and stuff. It just, it pops. And I can't, t I can't help but just love this, uh, this Laura here. So I just wanted to bring it to you and share it with you. And um, you can see again here, it was just a prompting, you know, you can, well, yeah, it still did kind of a weird thing over here, but it just adds a little punch to it. And if you upscale this with like ultimate, up, uh, ultimate SD upscaler or something, just to add a little bit more to it, you could do that. Here we just do a quick upscale, which is my favorite here. It is going to be... No, I mean, it is that one is this one. We'll just do this one real quick, right? So we come in here to these. We're going to do two of these. Control C, Control V. So we have two of them. Image from here to there. Image from there to there. Image from there to there. Image from there to there. And then we're going to come in here and we'll do an ultra sharp on both of these. Ultra sharp. And we'll do a two upscale and resize width. We're going to get the width. Um, from here but what we can do is we can do a get image size and we can bring that up to here and with we can just plug it in there control cv that goes oops not we'll just should be the exact same we didn't have to do that but there we go 
go ahead and crank it up. We'll see you in a bit. All right, we are back here and uh, there we go. So we did a simple upscale here and you can already see this just so much more clear and everything. And um, uh, if you wanna, you know, obviously do a really great job, we're gonna send it through the Ultimate SD Upscale. You can see my other video for how to use Ultimate SD Upscale. And uh, maybe I'll tag it at the end of this one. So, but just look at, look at the difference in texture. I mean, look at the quilt. You can kind of, you can almost see the, this one almost came out, this one came out like an illustration actually. So maybe I should go back and do photorealistic. <clears throat> see here, what do we have here? Sunshine from window, that sounds good. And we'll do photo Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm back, but I don't know why I'm back. Um, what was I doing? I forgot what I was talking to you guys about. But anyways, yeah, here's here's the sharpened ones. And, you know, uh, without the filter, with the filter. Or the, the Laura, sorry. I forgot what I was doing. Uh, there's a reason why I left and came back. But my wife needed um, me to find a file for her for work next week and oh photorealistic that's what i did i changed it to photorealistic okay yeah like there's nothing wrong with this image here at all i like this image but i like this one more quite a bit more and remember you could um lower the uh, strength of the laura so if you don't like that high you know do like a 0.8 on it see if that um helps you out a little bit you know so anyways i just wanted to share that with you i think it's a really good laura it's one of my favorites i've been using it quite a bit recently it just brings so much character to the uh, image. And there you go. So with that, folks, I'm out of here. Uh, this obviously is not a uh, workflow that you guys need. I mean, just start with the basics and add on what I've added on if you feel like doing it that way. But um, I, I do recommend doing doing this situation here. And that way you can turn this on and off. And it doesn't, ma doesn't make any difference. It doesn't like give you an error. Like it can't see anything because it goes through here. And that helps. All right, where are we at? We're on the, the first one's done. Dial it down a little bit. But I mean, you can just look at that and say, which one do you like better? It just, it adds so much more texture to everything. I just love it. And it's really good for fantasy pictures too. So if we do... All right, there we go. I'll be back, guys. All right, we are back. And you can see here that uh, Flux, of course, is a problem with following directions. But, um, yeah. But, I mean, again, I'm just talking about, like, the textures and how the flowers all pop off. It's all two-dimensional here. You know, it's just not really, not a whole lot going. Um, this one just has... Like I said, almost a 3D effect. I just like it so much better. I don't know what, what else to tell you guys. So check it out. Dark Fantasy Collage by Jidas. Check it out and see what you think. I like it. Hope you do too. Anyways, uh, for more of these little videos, I'm going to do, like I said, one a week. Just showcasing something that I like. And um, I'll see you on the next one.